Welcome back to the protest board here with your boy Tone. I'm back with another video. If I get to an AGT, you glory to God. Our gods right now, God's will do it for all that you pay. And man, today's video, guy, Devin Washington Commander sale update video. I'm a little, I'm a day late on this, but it's some also some new information that came out as well that we want to talk about today from uh, Charles Gaspriano um, on Twitter. We'll talk about that today as well. Other things we'll talk about many topics today on this video, but. Um, sorry about the lack of uh, lack of visuals. Um, sorry about the lack of visuals. My camera's acting absolutely retarded, and this is not working. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, but the, the camera doesn't want to doesn't want to uh, cooperate. So that's kind of that as well. So I'm trying to find an exact tweet here. I just had the darn tweet, but that's why I can't find it anymore. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I hope all is well with y'all today. Hope y'all having a great one. So, this is from Charles Gaspiano on Twitter. Scoop on the commander's sale. At least one potential potential billionaire bidder has dropped from consideration recently because of fears of getting to a bidding war that would push the team's price, according to his banker, to maybe slightly more than $6 billion. Developing CC at NFL. Uh, I think that's Tim and Ferretta. That's the guy that um, decided to drop out of the commander sale. But also, we got a report yesterday. I want to shout out Rio Robinson from Ram Rio on this one. <clears throat> DC billionaire Matthew Bales, I believe his name is, and 76ers uh, owner Josh Harris are collabing to buy the commanders. We're going to put a bid combined. Um, they're worth, I think, over $13 million combined between the two of these uh, men. And both of them do really good work in investing money and putting money in the correct places. And you already know the uh, Josh Harris is the owner of the Philadelphia Flyers, 76ers, and another team. So his own teams before, the 76ers had been uh, quite solid as a franchise since Josh Harris has got there, especially recent recent years with guys like Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey, now James Harden, things of that nature. So that team's actually been pretty decent the last few years, and they had a lot more success with the commanders on the NFL side. So, uh, so we keep in mind, uh, for he also owns the Phillies. The Phillies are not a good team, uh, but they have been in World Series contention as of recently as well. And, 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 and he owns the Flyers, which aren't a great team, but, um, they have been they have been in purgatory that the commanders have been over the past two decades. Let's put it like that. So that's gonna be very interesting that Josh Harris is really gonna make the push. He are he already has visited the commander's facility, so that just told me it that I need to know that he's gonna make a push. Um, is Bezos out of it? I don't know, but it just don't sound like Bezos is gonna really be attacking this situation anymore. I think the owners are gonna be those two between Matthew Bales and also. Um, Josh Harris, as it sounds like. And then um, <clears throat> Matthew's from the area. So I think Josh Harris, both of them from, from, from Bethesda or Chevy Chase, give or take, around the same area. Uh, so they're both from Montgomery County, Maryland. They are from the DMV area. Uh, also, the guy, uh, the Bells guy is a billionaire. So um, he's one of the richest guys in the DMV area, if not the richest in the DMV area. So that just equals a lot of money, which equals a sale, which equals Dan Snyder's out of here. That's what it sounds like. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Hopefully, <laughs> Dan sells sooner than later, guys. I cannot wait. I'm excited for him to sell this daggone team and get him the heck out of here. That would be great. So, I cannot wait. Hopefully, this is the final biddings will be, I think, in a couple weeks, according to another report as well. Also, the Team 980 also made this tweet. Dan Snyder's and the Commanders have reportedly told NFL owners that the sales price for the Commanders is looking pretty good. Uh, unquote. So that's not, I guess that sounds like good news because they're going to actually gonna sell the darn team. And one more thing uh, from Charles uh, Gaspriano. I am told by people involved in the sale uh, process of the commanders at the NFL wants final bids in the next couple of weeks to make late uh, to make late March owners meet and solve deadline story development. So this sale should happen before April 1st and it should happen before the NFL draft. This team will be sold. Dan will not be on this team much longer, and I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to hear it, and I thank God for it. Uh, what are your thoughts for this sale? 
Do you think the two DMV guys that are from the DMV area and one is a sports owner, one non-sports owner, will be buying this team? Or do you see Bezos kind of, you know, taking his little snake approach? Bow, give me the tea. With your thoughts, like, comment, subscribe to the Protest Sports Network. Have a great one. Once again, sorry for the lack of visuals. Again, I am not trying to copy, copy Rio Robinson. Please do not comment. Oh, you trying to be like Rio. No, my camera definitely is just not working. So I'll tell them, guys, be easy, be safe, stay healthy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and blessings to all of y'all. And y'all guys be easy. Peace, cuz.